Hi, I'm Chris from Exity Australia. Today I'd like to talk to you about dual mass flywheels and single mass flywheels and the pros and cons of both. There's a lot of talk in the industry about which one's best for the vehicle and we'll just break them down into the pros and cons of both or the, the advantages and disadvantages of each. The advantages of the dual mass flywheel, it's the ultimate damper. It gets rid of all noise, vibration and harmonics from the vehicle and it's originally fitted as original equipment. The disadvantages with the dual mass flywheel though, is it's very hard to test to work out whether or not it's in a serviceable condition when you replace the clutch. It's also impossible to machine. So it can be a costly exercise when replacing the dual mass flywheel and a clutch kit. On the other hand, we brought out the single mass flywheel, which was a conversion kit for the dual mass. The advantages of the single mass flywheel is that when you're replacing the clutch and you put a single mass flywheel in, the next time that clutch needs to be replaced, you only have to worry about machining the flywheel and replacing the clutch kit. It's also slightly cheaper when replacing this version to go into the vehicle. Slight disadvantages with the SMF flywheel, in some instances, because you're going away from this true damper, in some vehicles, in some instances, you may have noise or vibration transmitted through the vehicle. Most of the time it's only slight, but it's a really good idea to give customers both options, the pros and cons of each. A Couple of good resources on our website to check out is Technote 47. That goes, goes through both of these systems in detail to give you a bit of an understanding of which one's best for the owner. And also a damper technology video on our website, which talks about dual mass flywheels, but also the clutch plates that we do put into these clutch kits for the single mass conversion to get rid of noise, vibration, and harmonics. Thank you.